Another way to represent precipitation reactions is called the total ionic equation, or the complete ionic equation. Just as the name implies, we will account for all of the ions in the solution. In the case of the reactant solutions aqueous sodium chloride and aqueous silver nitrate, we know that all the hydrated ions are separated from one another by water molecules. Thus, we write Na positive Aq plus Cl negative Aq plus Ag positive Aq plus NO3 negative Aq, followed by an arrow. Since we know our products from our previous work, we know that silver ions and chloride ions form a precipitate, silver chloride, while sodium ions and nitrate ions remain aqueous. Thus, we write the formula of the precipitate as AgClS. Sodium nitrate is aqueous, meaning hydrated sodium ions are separated from hydrated nitrate ions by water molecules in the solution. This is written as Na positive Aq plus NO3 negative Aq. The overall equation is, and listen up, Na positive Aq plus Cl negative Aq plus Ag positive Aq plus NO3 negative Aq react to produce AgClS plus Na positive Aq plus NO3 negative Aq. If we compare this equation to the atomic level animations of the reaction, notice that the equation is showing the simplest whole number ratio of the reacting species, while the animation shows multiples of this ratio. Also notice in the atomic level animations that the precipitate is represented as a network of silver ions and chloride ions called a lattice. The number of ions in the lattice is a multiple of the simplest whole number ratio shown by the formula AgClS, which is a one-to-one -one ratio of Ag positive to Cl negative.